methylene blue, actually a synthetic drug, and it has some fascinating properties that I think you need to know about. Okay, have you guys heard of methylene blue? It is not a cleaning product. It's actually one of the oldest synthetic drugs and it's quietly becoming the most fascinating wellness tool on the planet. Stick around until the end because by the end, I am sharing who should absolutely not use it, how low doses can enhance focus and aging skin, and my family's go-to dosage. Let's unpack its superpowers and real risk. Okay, methylene blue was first synthesized in the 1870s. It was used as a dye for fabric, um, so think blue jeans, and later as one of medicine's earliest tools, first for malaria, then cyanide poisoning. It even served as the prototype for an antipsychotic drug. The wild part is, as though it's only FDA approved for that one rare blood condition, today it's trending in the biohacking circles for everything from brain optimization to skin anti-aging. So let's talk about the different health benefits in five different areas, okay? The first we're gonna talk about is cancer and oxidative stress. Methylene blue is a potent antioxidant. It improves mitochondrial efficiency, meaning fewer free radicals and less oxidative stress, which is a root cause behind many, many cancers. It's also being studied for its photodynamic therapy. When activated by light, methylene blue can generate reactive oxygen species that kill cancer cells. Early stage work shows promise in skin and lymphatic cancers. Okay, now let's talk cognitive and neurological health. Low doses of methylene blue improve mitochondrial energy in brain cells reduce neuroinflammation and support neuroprotection in Alzheimer's and Parkinson's models. So users describe sharper focus, enhanced memory, and mental clarity. So imagine that kind of mid-afternoon slump disappearing altogether. Methylene blue also is a mild MAO inhibitor, meaning it can boost serotonin levels. Some studies suggest that it may have an antidepressant effect. It's also anti-ineffective and anti-aging. Originally, methylene blue treated malaria. It also shows antiviral and antibacterial activity in lab studies and even helps promote collagen skin thickness and wound healing in lab skin models. If you're curious how to use it, here's the breakdown. I definitely would encourage you to do your own research here. There are a lot of different studies showing different types of dose, but low dosage is the way to go with this. Pharmaceutical grade only, purity matters. I never, ever, ever use the industrial dye formulas. Dosage, cognitive microdosis, 1 to 10 milligrams per day, or therapeutic doses, which is 0.5 to 2 milligrams per body weight if under medical supervision. So you can take this orally by mixing it with water. Yes, do expect temporary blue tongue or urine or both, topical for skin or IV only in clinical settings. Um, my family, we take it orally with drops mixed in water. We also have tabs that we have taken. I actually prefer the tabs. I feel like they are less messy. In full transparency here, the human data is in the early stages. Um, a recent Very Well Health Review cautioned that methylene blue isn't FDA approved for cognitive or anti-aging use, and it could provoke serotonin syndrome with SSRIs or anemia in people with the G6PD deficiency. So make sure you're consulting your doctor on this. If you are on antidepressants or if you're pregnant, breastfeeding, stop right away. Always check purity. Make sure that you are finding a supplement that is the best quality you can find because you have to remember supplements are not regulated. Okay, now let's talk kind of the science behind this. I would highly encourage you to watch the Huberman podcast clip. It's going to nail the dosage, the mitochondrial mechanism, and risk points in under 10 minutes. So my family takes this, we take one to five milligrams per day for mental clarity, better skin, people are finding that they are receiving better sleep, better energy, people with long haul COVID fatigue, it's finally easing now that they have added in methylene blue. So try one milligram for a week, monitor, then adjust. So if you want a clearer brain, better skin, or want to support mitochondrial health, methylene blue is definitely worth a look safely. Comment below if this has helped you or if you have tried it, I would love to hear your experience with methylene blue.